If our film was to actually be made properly, we would make it a low budget film as it is meant to be seen as a sort of cheap horror film. Our company name is called Doobie Juice Productions. This actually took our group a while to come up with and once we finally decided on the name we produced the company logo the iconic Scooby-Doo figure in the logo, as well as the well-known sound he makes. We thought that through, through this logo, most people know who Scooby-Doo is, and so we would, know, we would want people to remember our production name through the resemblance of the well-known Scooby-Doo. We'll, we would also partner with a production company like Universal Studios to gain funding towards our film, as they are an international company which shows that our film is recognised by a top company so it distributes our film to a large audience. A, produc a production company helps to create a film. It will assist in the budgeting, scheduling, scripting, casting and more. The company usually looks over the film from when it's just an idea to completion. They are also responsible for finding a director and the majority of actors which are required on set. A film distributor is a company or individual responsible for, rele for releasing a film to the public through cinemas or home viewing. With the use of Universal Studios, which is a major film distributor, we felt like we should partner with these due to getting our film more known and distributing to a large audience. Although we wanted to make the film low budget, most of the funding for it would be raised by Universal Studios, which would then hopefully lead to more overall box office review and profit. A similar film to ours would be The Purge Anarchy, which was a relatively low budget film costing only nine million to set up generating $29 million on opening, making a $20 million US dollars profit, also being distributed by Universal, which is the partner we wanted to also be distributed by. Although only requiring average ratings of 50% on, on the website Rotten Tomatoes, some people did find it good to watch, and it did make a good profit, showing that low-budget horror films can make a good profit.